Good morning. We were back on trail at 8.30 this morning, continuing up Big Stone Coal at the top. Then we'll hit Blackbird Knob and start our loop back around to Red Creek. I love this trail. It is just absolutely beautiful. You can tell it was cold last night. My nose is running this morning. If it runs any faster, I'm going to have to try and catch it. Yeah, I'll try and show you a good bit of the scenery on this trail because it is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite trails. So, uh, it's a little muddy in spots, but hey. What trail isn't these days? Man, that's a big tree. Big spruce. Probably a hundred years old or more. You see a lot of those big spruces up here. Uh, yeah, coming to a nice little kind of a meadow-like place. Beautiful ferns. Pine plantation. Most of these pines were planted, I think. I don't know, then maybe back in the 60s or 70s. So they all tend to be nice and evenly spaced. About 10, 12 feet apart. All right. Trail's a little muddy. But you can probe and find the spots. A little bit more of the pine thicket. And uh, I think I'll let you go because the trail's a little muddy ahead. Ciao. Edge of another beautiful meadow and another beautiful pine plantation. Trail's in pretty good shape right here. Wow. Mr. Sun coming up. Yeah. There's really nowhere I'd rather be right now than right here. Yeah. Got quite a coyote serenade last night between about 7.30 and 8. Wasn't even dark yet. It was about 15, 20 minute serenade. They were probably within a few hundred yards of my campsite. There was a few guys camped a little ways up from me. And, uh, they were surprisingly quiet fellas. Matter of fact, I don't even think they had a campfire. If they did, I didn't hear it or smell it. And they weren't over there, you know, like, sawing down trees and everything. Which was kind of nice. This could end up being a really long video. Just because there's so much to film up in here. But, since we're now going through a spruce forest, I'll let you go. I tell you, this could get to be a very long video. Beautiful meadow right here. Kind of overgrown. It's a pine plantation in the background. Yes, definitely pine. There's a lot of pine up in here. Sky's getting blue. Some stuff's turning color already. Probably because it's been so wet. Trail's a little mucky in here, so uh, I'll let you go while I navigate it. I regret. I should have pushed the extra half an hour to right here. Campsite in the pines. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We're in another beautiful pine thicket. Just kind of winding your way through here. There's the pine with spruce, small spruce, just dotted all through here. It's actually starting to get really, really thick. So you'd be hard-pressed to squeeze through here for bushwhacking. You could, because you get to some open areas with ferns.
kind of a beautiful little meadow starting down that way. I mean, that's what this is. It's just pine, pine thickets, spruce thickets, beautiful me meadows. This trail has it all, actually, including some spectacular campsites. This is a life. I hear some folks down here, so I'm going to turn this off and not disturb their day. I tell you, it's hard to put a camera away in here. It's so pretty. Really haven't seen too many berries. Usually by this time of the year you can still find some. But uh, I found a few, maybe a half a dozen near my campsite. But not even enough to fool with the gathering them up to uh, have with breakfast. Go check out this campsite. Make sure the fire ring ain't trashed. If it is, I'll pack stuff out. I most generally do. People have been starting to catch on a little bit and quit leaving these campfire rings trashed. Okay, no garbage in it, around it. All right, this one looks good. Not as many people camp up here. This is not... Uh, within, you know, easy walking distance. The worst campsites are, like, really easy to get to. This one, you got a decent walk any way you look at it. Even if you come in from uh, the Wildlife Refuge, it's still a, quite, a, quite a bit of a walk. So that helps to keep these campsites reasonably decent. Little campsite over there. I might go check it out, too. I like to make sure I, you know, that they're left halfway clean. I mean, campfire rings in and of themselves are kind of nasty. And people leaving garbage in them makes it even worse. Wow. Look at this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I found one close. I cannot remember what these are called. I'm sure somebody out there does. But when they're not wet, these are real, real fluffy, kind of like a cotton ball. And this is just about the southern extent of their range. Mostly they grow much farther to the north. Like I say, I can't remember what they're called, but uh, Jensen. Yeah, we'll get a little bit better video of that. You do see a good bit of this, and I never really know which variety. There are several, quite a few actually. Jensen. Uh, I'd say I have no clue which variety it is. I do apologize for the shakiness of this. Hopefully I can get my action cam up and run it. It actually has image stabilization. There's a whole bunch of those cool things. They just look like cotton balls on a stick. They're pretty neat. Well, I'll let y'all go for now.